Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Fallout video. So here is my review for episode 8 of Fallout, uh, I guess the finale, and um, <laughs> yeah... I guess I should say that this will contain spoilers for the episode, so I hope you guys are all aware of that. This episode honestly completely blew me away, and I was not expecting all of what happened at the very end to actually happen. There are so many Easter eggs in here. There's actually a lot of things that when I was writing my notes, I was like, oh, wait, there's actually a couple of things that I'm missing here that are from previous games. And I guess I already gave a spoiler warning, but like Mr. House is actually in this episode, which I guess was sort of the first tease at New Vegas. But yes, the end is here. Uh, this is actually the end of season one. And yes, it seems like there is going to be a season two. There's no official confirmation, but obviously if you see how this ends, and also I've, I've heard some things about uh, funding and I guess sort of, where they're likely going to be filming Fallout Season 2 and stuff, and it looks like a lot of that is actually happening right now. So I do think there's going to be an announcement at any point now. Really, at any point, there's going to be an announcement. So, yeah, Season 2, I think, is going to be really, really amazing, and it looks like the story for that season is going to be New Vegas. So I'm actually going to replay that game. I just got both of the games. I actually got New Vegas and Fallout 3. I'm going to replay those just to, you know, remember a lot more of the story and stuff because it's been a very long time. I honestly don't even know if I ever really beat those games. So yeah, I'm going to go back and do all of that. I'll probably stream that on Twitch as well. But yeah, let's actually break down uh, what actually happens in this episode here. So we first see Maximus, obviously, with the Brotherhood now, and uh, he has Wilzig. Well, I guess it's the fake head. It's not actually Wilzig. And the Brotherhood knows this immediately and basically calls him out and is like, no, I know you're lying about the head. And uh, it really seems like he was going to die there for a second. But I've always kind of said this. I even said it in my episode one review when that first happened. It's, it seems like the Brotherhood really likes loyalty and honesty. A, a, a such a huge part to, you know, how they operate in general. And so... I figured he was going to be fine because I just, I mean, I didn't think Maximus was going to die here. And so I knew there was going to be a way to get out of this here. And it was very interesting to see how the Brotherhood just like stood behind Maximus and was like, you know, if we can do all of this, then we'll start a new Brotherhood here. And uh, yeah, obviously just a crazy opportunity here for Maximus, right? Like it was something that he obviously always dreamed of. So uh, yeah, really incredible moment here. Um, Lucy does arrive to her destination. She actually arrives to the, the Griffith Observatory. Uh, very cool that we actually saw that, and uh, Cooper is on his way here. We do see a bunch of stuff with Cooper, like, kind of traveling throughout the episode. We get a lot of flashbacks with him, which I do actually like. There, there was actually a flashback with his wife at vault -Tec. She was there from a meeting. I, I thought the visuals of just seeing vault -Tec were were really cool, and that's what I like about the series in general, is that we're seeing a lot of, uh, you know, the really incredible visuals, and it looks amazing. Honestly, I have no issues at all with the CGI, except for one moment in this episode, and we'll talk about it. But overall, I think the CGI and, and you know, just the visuals of, of everything look absolutely incredible. I think they really did the Fallout story really well here. Like, I think they perfectly adapted it really well from the games. Cooper is still using the, the inner ear monitors here to figure out, you know, what's going on with his wife and stuff. And uh, it looks like, well, it looks like there was some interference there. So obviously he has to go inside vault Tech just to be able to, you know, hear anything at all. And so he actually goes inside. In the meantime, Lucy actually does make it to her father. That happened very fast. Moldaver was there as well. And then there was this ghoul or, or something that looked like a walker. That's what I wrote in my notes here, because obviously we know the reveal that that was actually Lucy's mom, Rose, right? But at first I was just like, the way that, I don't want to say ghoul, but it literally looks like a zombie. Like, it's not actually a ghoul, but it just looks like a zombie. And I was just like, this literally, the sound and everything, it looks exactly like a walker. But it's at this moment here where we actually learn from Moldaver, you know, the truth about Hank. And at the same time, you know, Norman's actually, uh, well, he finds a brain that's attached to, I guess, a Roomba or something like that. Very interesting story there with Norman, I will say. He learns a bunch of stuff about his father as well. He sort of learns it independently, learns a bunch of stuff about Betty, and there's sort of a, a cliffhanger there as to, like, does he freeze himself in the vault, you know, in order to survive? Because he's sort of, he's locked down there now, right? And so we'll see where the story goes now, but it looks like for season two, they're going to Vegas. And so I don't know if they're going to be going back to Vault 33 right away. So I'm interested in sort of how they fix that what happens with like Betty and, and Vault 33. And yeah, I mean, they can really go in a lot of different directions here. But that's sort of the cliffhanger that we're left on there. I mean, I guess I'm assuming he's going to survive. Or we're going to see what happens here. But there is this secret Vault Tech meeting here. And this is where we see a lot of leaders throughout the world. And Cooper learns here, you know, what Vault Tech wants to do here. And really, the whole message here is basically time, you know, is the ultimate weapon here, basically, you know, just outlive everyone, basically, right. And there's a lot of debate going on about what's right and stuff, but it sounds like it's all good and everything. Like, you know, for Cooper, I think he was very relieved to actually hear his wife, you know, talk about all this stuff and then try to defend things 
and say things that were just like, you know, just like the right thing to say. But then it's revealed that Cooper, uh, while his wife, wants to drop a bomb to guarantee vault Tech's success. And so that right there, when I, when I heard that, I was just like, whoa, wait a minute. And then the whole reveal of they're the ones that actually dropped the bombs on uh, Shady Sands. I mean, obviously, they're the ones that dropped the bombs originally, but I'm just saying, like, later on, right, with Shady Sands. That was such a big reveal. And I'm trying to remember now what the story was, but I feel like Shady Sands was actually... I mean, did they just kind of erase a lot of the progress that that story had? Because I feel like that was something that was in the game. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I, like Again, I have to go and replay that. But I feel like everything was actually going really well for them. And now they just kind of wiped everything out again. If people are upset about that, I guess I kind of get it. But, you know, from a story aspect, I do kind of like it because of the reveal at the very end. And what the NCR actually did for, I guess, the region of Shady Sands. It's more like Los Angeles, I guess. We do see Hank McClain. That was the big reveal. He's actually alive in the past, you know, like right before the the, the, the nukes actually dropped. And again, bad CGI here. Uh, I know they wanted to like de-age him. I think they just did it too much. Honestly, they didn't really need to do that because he was frozen the entire time. Like, yes, he lived a bit obviously and, and like he was there throughout you know lucy and norman's life but like i think it was just too much like they didn't have to do all of that that was just a bit too much cgi there and it just seemed a little off in my opinion but yeah moldaver reveals all of this stuff and i really like the way that this scene is structured here because we've been following like two separate storylines really you know um there's a lot of different storylines but i mean more of like in terms of the timeline we have the past timeline and then the current timeline, and it's all happening at the same time, like both reveals, and they're all connected together, right? Like Cooper is sort of reacting to what his wife is saying, and he's shocked to hear that his wife is just like, yeah, we're going to bomb everything here, and uh, vault is going to succeed, and we're going to do all this stuff here. All these people are going to die, but we're just going to outlive everyone, basically, right? And he's just shocked. He's just like, what is going on here? I can't even believe she's saying these things. At the same exact time, Lucy is reacting to everything that you know, uh, Moldaver is saying about her father, and we literally see her father in the past as well. All of these connections here, Cooper and Lucy, I'm really excited to see what happens to them in season two, because they're both like connected a lot here in this overall story. Both very important characters here in Fallout, and uh, yeah, that we, we learned what actually happened overall to uh, uh, Lucy's mother here. Lucy's mother actually escaped. She actually took Lucy and Norman to the surface, so they've been to the surface before, and then Hank found out, obviously took them back, and uh, then just bombed Shady Sands. And that's what happened. And Maximus, you know, lived in Shady Sands. And uh, vault really, at the end of this story here, they're made to be the big villains here and everything here. And uh, honestly, I found myself, by the end of the episode, kind of on NCR's side. I kind of get what they're trying to do, right? Like the, the New California Republic. I kind of understand what they're trying to do here overall. Uh, the Cold Fusion, I thought was really cool, like Limitless Energy. Um, yeah, like, I honestly like NCR at this point here. Um, I don't really know what's left of them at this point here because their leader died, right? Like, Moldaver is gone now, so we'll have to see where that goes there. Um, but yeah, Hank does give Moldaver the code, and obviously the Brotherhood show up. There's this big, huge battle here. Uh, really amazing battle sequences. Uh, I really honestly loved all of this stuff. Uh, Cooper shows up. Really amazing scenes there. I think Cooper might be my favorite character now. Like, Maximus was throughout the entire series, but Cooper in this scene, when he takes out the T-60 soldiers, I was just like, okay, I think that combined with his backstory and just how long he's been alive for, I think he might be my favorite character now, though. But yeah, we see Hank versus Maximus, which is kind of cool. Uh, Cooper, he shows up here in this scene and he actually asks Hank, like, where's my family? You know, and he doesn't answer that. So I guess there's a mystery there as to what happened. I thought we would get some sort of reveal on all of that. But no, it looks like they're actually going to hold off on that until season two. And I guess that's going to be, it looks like we're going to get more answers in uh, in Vegas, right? In New Vegas. So. I'm excited to see what happens there. Uh, Cooper and Lucy, that's sort of where this ends here is it's basically, you know, there's a team up between the characters. Maximus, I thought was dead. I honestly actually thought he was dead. I was kind of confused on what happened because it didn't seem like anything happened to him where it, it would have killed them. So I was like, I'm kind of confused, but maybe he's actually dead. But nope, he's actually alive. And we see Moldaver show up here at the very end, activate the cold fusion and stuff. And then, yeah, all of Los Angeles gets power again. She dies, but she gets to witness, you know, her vision come true here. And it was honestly really amazing. And it was perfect timing for Maximus because the Brotherhood shows up here and, 
you know, it looks like he killed Moldaver and sort of is like the hero here and everything. And they, they look at this like new world that was just created, right? And so he is now a knight. I'm guessing in season two, he's going to actually have his own armor. And uh, that's basically sort of where it ends. You know, we see Lucy traveling to, I guess, Vegas. They're going to be tracking, you know, where Hank went, right? And then we see Hank in the T-60 armor going to New Vegas. And we actually see the the bones of a, of a death claw. And I was actually curious as to, you know, like were we actually going to see death claws in this season? It looks like they're going to be getting into that in season two. And that's why, you know, a lot of criticisms about things like that, like, oh, they never showed us this or that. I'm just like, you know what? Give it time. Like, this was the first season, literally the first season. Um, The second season is probably going to get into a lot more stuff here. And I will have to do a season two video and talk about, you know, what they actually showed in the episode, because there's a lot of stuff. There's actually some stuff in like the post credit scene where it hints at certain storylines or changes that they actually made. So yeah, I'll have to talk about that. There was a lot of stuff in this episode here that really set up uh, the future here really well. And honestly, there was a conclusion to the story here in this season. So this season was incredible. I'll do a full series review talking about the entire story and just sort of my overall thoughts on Fallout. I'll probably be out tomorrow. Um, but yeah, really incredible episode. Episode eight was honestly phenomenal. They got right into it immediately. And there was a lot to say. There was a lot to say, and I think they actually handled everything really well. Pacing was so well done, and I'm excited to play the games. Like, this is just making me want to go back and play the games. And again, I don't really remember playing Fallout 1 and 2, 3, and New Vegas. I know I've played them. I just, I don't think I ever beat them. Or like, I don't know, because that was so long ago. But Fallout 4, I know I beat that game. And then 76, I played a lot of. And so I, I'm going to go back and play Fallout 3, beat that game entirely. New Vegas, beat that all entirely. And uh, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll obviously still continue to do Fallout videos here. I'm going to do a series review, a bunch of season two videos, and then talk about a lot of what happened at the ending here and what can change. A lot of, like, New Vegas stuff as well. I'll get into a lot of videos on that once I actually beat the game and everything, though, so I can really understand the story very, very well. So, you know, just so when I'm doing videos, I know what I'm talking about kind of thing. So, yeah, just um, really incredible series here. You know, I, when I look at this series, or this first season anyways, uh, it did its job, right? Like, I actually, I was a huge Fallout fan, and I kind of stopped caring for a while because of Fallout 76, but this show got me back into this world again, and I'm very, very excited to learn a lot more in terms of the changes that, that they made, and, um, you know, not a lot of people, I think, were paying attention to Fallout, or at least this TV show. I think a lot of people knew it was coming out, they were interested, it was, it was kind of exciting, but unless you were a diehard fan, I don't think a lot of people really paid a lot of attention and now that the show has come out I think a lot of people are just remembering you know what was so amazing about this this entire world here so anyways I'm gonna leave it here definitely post all your thoughts down below on the finale here to Fallout and uh yeah stay tuned for my series review as well as a bunch of season two videos so hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one Bye.